Coming out can be a very personal decision. Some might want to shout it from the rooftops and others may be more reserved, but either way, it's something to be proud of because you're embracing your true self. So today, let's count down the top 10 celebrities who came out as LGBTQ. At number 10, Ali'i Carvalho. Moana star Ali'i Carvalho came out publicly as bisexual in April 2020. After posting a TikTok featuring her lip syncing to Eminem's song, Those Kind of Nights, featuring Ed Sheeran. In the video, she mouthed the lyrics saying, quote, seriously though, joke aside, how you doing? You straight? She said, no, I'm bi. She said, are you drunk? I said, no, I'm high. I'm checking out the chick. She said, so am I. Since people sometimes post themselves singing songs with lyrics that don't necessarily apply to them, she solidified her coming out after she replied to a fan's tweet asking the actress if she liked girls, to which she replied saying, quote, may I escort you to my TikTok? This video was her first ever TikTok that she posted, so using this as a coming out definitely caught people's attention, but I'm sure that many people are still proud of her coming out to the world. At number 9, Lil Nas X. In 2019, Lil Nas X released his EP, which included a song called Closure, and though at the time that it was released, we all saw it as just a song, fans later came to find out that this was Nas's way of coming out as gay. The song included lines like, quote, I want and I need to let go, use my time to be free, and ain't no more acting man that forecasts say I should just let me grow, no more red light for me baby, only green I gotta go. The rapper laid everything out for us in June that year on the last day of Pride Month, and even jokingly pointed out that he thought that he made it obvious obvious with the rainbow flag featured on the EP cover art. He was shown so much love and support for his announcement and definitely became a role model for a lot of young gay black men as well. If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing while you're at it. It really helps to support the channel and we love seeing our community grow. At number 8, Nikki De Jaeger. Nikki De Jaeger, aka Nikki Tutorials, has been on the YouTube platform for over a decade, building up a huge community of supporters. And so in January 2020, Nikki posted a video to her channel telling her supporters her truth that she is transgender. In the video, she started off saying, quote, It is a brand new year, it is 2020, and I want to start off the year with the truth. I want to start the year off by finally revealing a part of my life that has made me who I am. I want to talk about a part of myself that makes me me. I can't believe I'm saying this today to all of you for the entire world to see, but damn, it feels so good to finally do it. It's time to let go and be truly free." End quote. She also told viewers that she transitioned while on YouTube, so not only did she grow her channel, but she also grew herself and transformed into the woman that she is today. On top of that, Nikki addressed the fact that she was being blackmailed for her transition, and although she wanted to come out on her own time, that chance was being taken away from her, and so she took that back for herself. Though that may not have been the way that she would have liked to come out, we're all still proud of her for speaking her truth nonetheless. At number 7, Justice Smith. Justice Smith, star of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Detective Pikachu, came out as queer. His coming out happened in the midst of the Black Lives Matter movement that took place in the summer of 2020, and it included a message about the support of black queer lives and black trans lives. Justice posted a video to his Instagram of him and his partner Nicholas Ash at a Black Lives Matter protest, where he shared a message about injustice in the post description, where he included him saying, quote, We chanted Black Trans Lives Matter, Black Queer Lives Matter, All Black Lives Matter. As a black queer man myself, I was disappointed to see certain people eager to say Black Lives Matter, but hold their tongue when trans slash queer was added. He continued talking about how the LGBTQ community shouldn't be excluded from the Black Lives Matter narrative, and he also included some photos of himself and his partner, sharing a message of love for him as well. At number 6, Tana Mojo. In honor of Pride Month 2020, Tana Mojo tweeted out to her fans that she was in fact pansexual, this all following speculation that she was in a relationship with Miley Cyrus's sister, Noah Cyrus. Tana also said, quote, I never thought I'd be brave enough to publicly share my sexuality in a way that I do now, and went on to discuss how she struggled with her sexuality in the past and has had to deal with people labeling her as straight and discrediting her past relationships with women. Tana continued saying, quote, I am proud to not only be a member but an ally of the LGBTQIA community and I am proud to say that I will live my life based on loving people not for their gender but for their soul. Some people call that pansexuality, everyone calls me bi. I personally don't find a need to label it at all. Love and sexuality is genderless to me. One of her most public same-sex relationships was with former Disney star Bella Thorne, and though things didn't end well, it's important to not discredit this relationship even if Tana wasn't out at the time. At number 5, Bronwyn Windham Burke. 
Real Housewives of Orange County star Bronwyn Windham Burke came out as lesbian in 2020 and she opened up about her sexuality in an interview with Glad this past December. In the interview, she revealed that it took her 42 years to embrace her sexuality and that she is now a proud member of the LGBTQ community. The reality star revealed that she first started addressing her sexuality after her scandalous on-screen kiss with fellow cast member Tamara Judge and that she discussed the kiss with one of the show's producer where she determined that this was not a mistake and was in fact who she is. Is. She finally decided to come out after truly finding herself and not wanting to hide herself anymore. As for her husband, he revealed that he is finding a new normal, but they continue to be a family with their seven children. Bronwyn opened up saying that though she loves her husband deeply, she is not attracted to men and she never has been. That's okay though because they still love each other in other ways and in the end, having people around you who love you is what really matters. At number 4, Lily Reinhardt. Riverdale star Lily Reinhardt came out as bisexual in June 2020 amidst the Black Lives Matter movement after sharing a post advertising an LGBTQ protest in which she said, quote, although I've never announced it publicly, before, I am a proud bisexual woman. Later, she opened up about her sexuality and coming out publicly, saying that she was initially hesitant about coming out because she felt as though it was becoming a trend in Hollywood. In an interview, she shared that her sexuality was never intentionally hidden from the public, but come the Black Lives Matter protest, she felt as though this was the right time to talk about it because she wanted to be an ally for the Black LGBTQ plus community. She also shared that she knew from a young age that she was interested in men as well as women and doesn't hide her feelings for either. At number three, Young Blood. Singer Youngblood has strived to build an inclusive fan base and has advocated for the LGBTQ community, so it comes as no surprise that when he came out as pansexual, he was shown the love and support he's given to his fans for so long. Though in the past, the singer has referred to his sexuality as quote, more straight but very fluid about it, he recently came out in an interview with Attitude after winning the publication's 2020 Game Changer Award. In the interview, he also spoke more in depth about his sexuality, polyamory, and his connection to his ex-girlfriend Halsey, who helped him come to terms with his sexuality. Youngblood talked about how Halsey was a big factor in discovering his sexuality and said that he learned a lot about sexuality from her. He ended the interview saying, quote, you've got to lose yourself and a load of people to figure out who you are sexually. His journey was full of self-discovery and him talking about how he came to this conclusion can be helpful to anyone questioning their sexuality as well. There's no rush, just take the time you need to find your true self, no matter who that is. At number two, Elliot Page. Oscar nominated actor and star of the Umbrella Academy, Elliot Page came out as transgender in December of 2020. Elliot posted a note to his fans on Instagram in which it shared that he is trans and that he uses the pronouns he, they. Going on to say, quote, I feel lucky to be writing this, to be here, to have arrived at this place in my life. I feel overwhelming gratitude for the incredible people who have supported me along this journey, end quote. He also went on to thank members of the trans community for inspiring him and for being so inclusive. Elliot also commented on the fragility of coming out as trans, as though it may be a joyous occasion coming out as your true self, it can also be followed by hate and violence, also adding that a large portion of hate crimes are against trans people and especially black trans women. Women. Elliot has also come out in the past as he came out as gay in 2014 and married New York dance teacher Emma Portner a few years back. There is no doubt that this is the first step in Elliot's life as the person that he was born to be and no matter what else awaits him on this journey, there will always be a community to support them. And finally at number one, Jojo Siwa. YouTube star Jojo Siwa recently came out as a member of the LGBTQ community. This comes after she posted a video to her TikTok of her mouthing the words to Lady Gaga's Born This Way, and then later posting a photo to her Twitter of her wearing a shirt given to her by her cousin, which read, best gay cousin ever. Though she hasn't given herself a label, she has confirmed that she is a part of the LGBTQ plus community. When asked about her sexuality, Jojo replied saying, quote, I like people, but I never fallen in love before but I always believed that my person was going to be my person. If that person happened to be a boy, then great. If that person happened to be a girl, then great. I'm the happiest that I've ever been, and that's what matters. Since coming out, there's been an outpouring of support for the internet star as celebrities and influencers have been sharing their messages of love and support for the 17 year old. She's happy, and that's all that really matters. Now I understand that coming out and the discussion of one's identity or label can be a sensitive topic, and I want you all to know that I mean nothing but love and support by talking about this. Each person's journey is different and each person must be respected because of that. No matter what you identify as or even if you do not prefer to have a label yourself, just know that I accept you and I love you and my door is always open for anyone who needs someone to listen. No judgment, just positivity. I've been your host Free Room and until next time, stay safe, love each other and remember that you're all worthy of the best that life has to offer. Bye guys. 
The song included lines like, quote, I want and I need to let go, use my time to be free, ain't no more acting, man, that forecast says, <sighs> Speaking rap lyrics is weird. <laughs> And ain't no more, and ain't no more acting, man. That forecast says, I sh <laughs> and ain't no more crap. Oh my god. <laughs>